So here at Rennie Lee we run about 3,500 head of cattle, so that's uh, about 1,550 breeding cows. We have a farming business that covers about eight different properties, a team of ten, four members of our family farm in the business, and it is a multi-generational family farm. And what we're really interested in and in all the things we do in terms of innovation and, and working on our pasture systems and the soil is really working out how we do this better for the long term. Okay, we run three properties, our home property, Somerset's Cattle, and that's the one we run regenerative, uh, holistic basis. And then we have a sheep block, which is currently running production, but leaning towards regenerative. In a normal year, we, we run close to 200 brooding cows and 2,000 uh, brooding ewes. So the Dung Beetle Ecosystem Engineers Project is looking to achieve four things. We are looking to improve pasture health. We're looking to reduce pests such as insect pests and worms. We're looking to increase soil health and we're looking to reduce runoff of nutrients into waterways. In addition, we're looking to import three new species of dung beetles from the Mediterranean environment as well as mass rearing two endemic species. Soil health is, is the crux of your business. If you haven't got healthy soils, you're not growing grass, and if you're not growing grass, you can't turn the grass into something that you can sell. So soil health is really integral, and it's really part of, I suppose, our environmental footprint in terms of, of what we do and how we take the business forward. So we've been, we've been working on various soil health projects for a long time. And focusing on soil health is really about having, I guess, the right nutrition, making sure we're not degrading the soil and increasing the below ground biodiversity, which is fungi, bacteria, and also, in this case, beetles, worms, you know, you name it. Dung beetles can help producers in a variety of ways. We think of them as being excellent at breaking up the dung, and in so doing, they interrupt the fly cycle and the nematode cycle. They also bury the dung, thereby making nutrients available for soil health and aiding water penetration. The dung beetles help improve soil fertility in two ways. One, one is that they're aerating the soil, which is allowing moisture to go in and, and allowing plant roots to penetrate deeper into the soil because the dung beetles are digging down 300 mils at least. And um, they, they're taking those nutrients down in the soil which become available to the uh, plant's roots. So the new beetles that we're bringing into the country, Onthophagus vaca as an example, where it's going to be released is going to be determined by the results of the DBEE survey that we're conducting. So we really need to find out those environments where the geography and the climate match the known environments for the dung beetle species being considered. So I think what I see with the dung beetles is if we can get these beetles working throughout the year, that would be a really um, useful addition to the system. And we always talk about the system. It's not a single thing that's going to make a massive difference, but they will contribute. So if we can take the dung into the soil through the spring and summer months, which doesn't really happen at the moment with the existing dung beetle species we have, then we'll see improved hydration in the soil, we'll see increasing soil organic matter. That'll really improve the sort of sustainability of our whole pasture system. There's, there's many stories that you hear in, in going around and, and talking to producers about the benefits of dung beetles on their, on their properties. Uh, they vary depending on the age of the, of the producer. I've certainly had stories where uh, producers would be uh, recounting events of them uh, going to school on horseback uh, with the, the backs of their uh, boy in front of them covered in flies. And nowadays they say that there's, there's often no flies around what to, so to speak of. So there's been an immense reduction in fly numbers. Uh, other producers have told us about the pasture health that they've observed with the addition of dung beetles. So they're seeing much greater and more even pasture growth. If you were thinking about dung beetles and you think it was all too much effort, once you've got them there, there's no effort at all. They're, they're working while you're, you're doing something else. Now, 15 years ago, we would have been running around with pasture harrows behind tractors trying to smash this manure around to spread it more evenly over the paddock. We, we don't have to do that anymore. So, so just by making one or two management decisions, and maintaining your population, they're doing the job for you. They're basically doing the work while you sleep. They're performing a service for you, but you don't actually 
have to do yourself. So how do you incorporate organic matter, lower it into the soil? How do you, how do you increase water infiltration? How do you improve the organic matter content of the soil? If the dung beetles are doing that, especially throughout the year, that would be a, a fantastic, I suppose, ecosystem service that anybody would be interested in if, if we can get that system to work better. So if a primary producer found themselves in a situation where they would like to introduce dung beetles onto their property, then there are a couple of commercial suppliers of dung beetle beetles within Australia. And the easiest way to find those is to go to our website, www.dungbeetles.com.au, and on that site you will find links to producers who can not only supply you the beetles, but have the knowledge to advise you which beetles would be best in your geography.